Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking doing another optics review. This is an optic that you guys may have seen before if you are familiar with the channel. Uh, this is just an EOTech uh, 512A65. And then I haven't shown this on the channel yet, but this is a Vortex 3x magnifier. This is a VMX uh, 3T. I was going to make two individual videos reviewing both of these products, but then I just would have made two short videos. So I guess I would just go more in depth and uh, review both of them here. Uh, without any further ado, I guess I'll just kind of run through some of the specs. Let's go ahead and start start with the EOTech 512A65, then we'll go to the specs on the magnifier, and I'll just talk about my impressions and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so starting with the EOTech, uh, let's go with price. MSRP is about $459, uh, but that is the MSRP street price. You could probably pick it up from a retailer anywhere from $400 to like $450, or you could get it online. I actually ended up getting this one on Amazon for only $359, so under $360 with free shipping, so that was nice. If I find out on Amazon again, I will put the link in the description. Uh, the reason I say it like that is because there's always like different deals. Sometimes it's $400, then with the $75 rebate or this and that. But, you know, whatever I can find the best deal on this site, I will put it uh, in the description. So yeah, for well under $460, you can see that this is kind of the entry level EOTech, the kind of cheapest it comes, uh, the most recognizable one as well, just from the outside. But uh, it is mostly because it runs on AA batteries instead of rechargeable. It's not compatible with night vision, doesn't have any of those uh, UV modes, and the reticle is a circle and dot and doesn't have the bullet drop compensation. But that's pretty much it. If you just want a simple uh, holographic sight with the EOTech uh, kind of, I guess, look, without going, you know, off brand, then this is a great uh, entry EOTech. I mean, I don't really like to say it like that, entry EOTech, because it's still a pretty penny to pay. But compared to the other ones, it uh, depends on your purpose, I guess. But I'm, I've been happy with this one on my ACR. Anyway, it comes in this nice box. Go ahead and open it up. And it comes with uh, just some warranty information and all that kind of stuff. Some installation instructions and then the foam padding here. Now initially it came in a mount that uh, screws on with like this little screw here so always to un to take it off and on you would need to screw it like this. It also came with what I currently have on there which is like a flat head adjustable like thing that you could get a thumb tight and then flat head uh, adjustable. Uh, so that makes it a little easier so I just went with that one but they give you the option. Uh, it came with the two AA batteries here as well and that's about it. It also came with an EOTech sticker which was nice and I have that somewhere upstairs with my collection of other stickers. But anyway, nice box, uh, nice packaging. So uh, going on with that, it weighs 11.5 ounces. It's also water resistant, actually uh, submergible up to 10 feet or three meters. On lithium batteries, you should get 1000 continuous hours on the normal setting. The normal setting is the first one that comes on when you press either of the back buttons. And on alkaline batteries, you should get uh, 600 hours uh, with the normal setting as well. I've not tested this, but I heard that there is a battery cutoff uh, eight hours and then it'll shut off if you press up first or four hours if you press down. What I mean by that if we get the magnifier out of the way. So on the back you can press uh, up on power and then that turns it on as you can see if I focus in. Uh, and if you do that then the battery should cut off after eight hours and then if you start it by uh, pressing the dimmer button then I guess that's four hours from what I heard but like I said never tested it. And to turn it off you could just press both at the same time. Like I said, it's powered by two AA batteries. The way you access them is flip this up, kind of gets rid of the tension, push this forward, and then here are your two AA batteries. Then again, get that back in there, and then this just snaps right back in, very nice. All right, so I kind of covered everything about it. We'll just do a little walk around here. On the side, that is where you would adjust uh, for windage and elevation. If I could get that to focus, there we go. The higher one to the left there, that is for elevation. I click it up or down and then to the right is uh, for windage and you could do that with the back of a like a bullet shell or something like that uh, but yeah anyway there is the side go ahead to the other side or actually the back like i said you could turn it on or off by pressing either of those buttons where that little circle is on the top that is usually where the night vision mode would be uh, but yeah, and then like I said to turn it off uh, is a little awkward in my opinion you have to kind of hold both while holding the rifle is a little weird but anyway that's how you do that and off to the side like I said earlier this is the uh, flathead piece. You could have just got another screw just like these two right here to uh, mount it onto, but I wanted uh, the flathead just because, uh, I don't know, I guess the flathead's more accessible. And then moving up, like I said, that is uh, where the battery compartment is, and that switch is to uh, replace them. Now the reticle has been great, uh, has plenty of settings. Right when you turn it on, it is on this mode right here, that's default mode. Uh, which is pretty bright for right now. It's kind of dusk. You could crank it up really really bright to where on the brightest day You're gonna be able to see that radical no problem and on the very lotus, uh, lowest one I have shot it at night and uh, it is just fine So nice range of brightnesses now. Let's go ahead and move on to the magnifier All right, and the contents of the VMX uh, Vortex magnifier came with a little instruction manual 
uh, came with this little riser if you need it to uh, be elevated a little bit. It mounted onto the uh, 512 or the 512 just fine. Came with a cleaning cloth and then these extra screws. I guess I would have needed that if I needed a little uh, adapter there, which I did not. But anyway, that is that. Now the magnifier was super easy to install and mount on here. It was pretty much already uh, installed. All I had to do is uh, screw on the magnifier to the mount, the swivel mount here, with these two screws, and uh, make sure the button here is pointing back and uh, the the uh, magnifier was facing the right way. Anyway, you screw that down right here, very easy. And then the way this works is you push this down and you could grab it and it locks back in or push it here and swivel it out of the way. Uh, very, very nice. And so we'll put it in its normal position. Uh, let's see here, looking right here, that is to adjust the kind of ocular focus. Right here is, you just keep moving this until your reticle is dead center. So this is your elevation then windage. You just keep on moving that around with a little flat head or something until that reticle falls right in place. It was pretty centered right when I did it, but a little bit of fine tuning to get it even better. Now the price is what really reeled me into this Vortex magnifier because other ones from EOTech or Aimpoint or whatever were significantly more three, four hundred dollars or even more in some cases, which is crazy for a magnifier. I thought it didn't really have to be like that. But the price on this one is under two hundred dollars available on Amazon. Uh, sometimes they go on sale and they're even cheaper than that, but it's about one hundred ninety right now. Uh, so yeah, with these two together, 360, then 190 for a uh, holographic EOTech with a three times magnifier, usually that setup will run you about $1,000 or more. But uh, if you do it like this, I have not been disappointed and I'm very, very happy with the uh, function of it. In fact, I actually thought the magnifier would kind of be gimmicky, but I thought I'd give it a try and it actually makes a huge difference on getting a consistent point of aim at a little bit further range. I was expecting obviously to have a magnified image of the uh, target down range, but I didn't realize just how much it would magnify on the actual reticle itself. Just really helps get that uh, consistent point of aim. So I ran over all the information on both of these, the magnifier and the EOTech, and to try to kind of show you guys how it looks like it's tough with this camera, so I just might have to switch over to my phone, so bear with me, I have to get the angle, but the image quality might drop a little bit. All right, I'm now filming on my phone. Hopefully the uh, image quality isn't too terrible, but here is the look with the magnifier. It is pretty bright actually, so let me tone down the brightness of the EOTech. Uh, that should be good. So that is a look through the magnifier and get a good look at that, because then I'm gonna go ahead and swivel it out of the way. So obviously pay attention to the image, like the trees down there, how much they magnify, but also the reticle. Look at that little circle all the way to solid circle and the dot, which is very, very nice. Obviously it looks better in person. The uh, phone's not really doing it justice. Obviously the brightness is all off, but very, very nice. Uh, I was able to get very consistent point of aim at 50 to 100 yards on little clay pigeons on a berm. Uh, much more confident with the magnifier and if it's even closer or you just want it out of the way and then there you go back to how it was. So yeah, really liking that. Hopefully this phone kind of shows you a good view of that. But it is just very, very nice and well made, very sturdy. All right guys, so I believe I covered everything over the EOTech 512A65 and the Vortex VMX 3T. Uh, personally, I think it's a great setup, known to be over $1,000 to get something like this from EOTech or some other people like Aimpoint or whatever. But just know for well under that, I am really liking it. In case you guys were wondering how these two products matched up, yeah, perfect for me, even without the little elevation thing that comes with the Vortex. But go ahead and fine tune it for your specific setup. But yeah, this is how the ACR is sitting now, minus the bipod, that's just for this video. And I am super confident with this. It's a super fun gun to shoot and I expect many more videos like this. But like I said, links to both of these in the description. So go ahead and check it out. And let me know what you guys think if, if you guys do decide to go with this and set it up. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.